Okay, y'all, I'm recording, and welcome, welcome, welcome to... Um, uh, you didn't ask me how my week was. Focus but, on the training. But, of, but go okay. ahead. So we're recording now. And so, um, so we we just got finished. We just finished talking about how everybody's week was. People who were those that were on time. Um, we started and and started talking about that. So now we we really got to get into the training because we know this training is only forty five minutes. So I want to make sure we help 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 everybody this morning. Um, so we just went through how was your week. Um, so, uh, I don't know what's going on. Here we go. So we just went through how was your week. And now what we're talking about is VAX access. And I kind of did this quickly and I'm, I'm not sure if you guys can see the screen and I apologize that it's so small, no, but we'll we want to get VAX access and I can send this to you and also keep this for your teens. Once they register as a, as a, an agent with YTB, you want to send an email to registrations at ytb.com and, and just say they want you want access to VAX Vacation Access. And you have to pr provide your YTB ID number, their full name, the start date, the date of birth, their email address, and their phone number. So you can either do it for your teammates or you can send this email to your, this template to your teammates and have them actually send it to YTB, registrations at YTB.com. Now, when, you, when they send that, it generally takes, sometimes it takes maybe 24 hours. Sometimes it takes maybe even, um, sometimes it doesn't take that long at all it depends on how busy the corporate office is but if you if, if with that with that access if you don't log in every 30 days if you don't log in every 30 days and I know during this pandemic some of us may not have logged in you want to send this information and tell ask them hey can you can you renew my account because after 30 days that shuts you out and, and shuts down your account so you might have to do this again. If you haven't logged in in 20, in 30 to 60 days, you may have to do this again and they'll just, they will contact you and send you your, your username and your password. Now you definitely have to do this when you are, um, when you are, um, when you, when you, when you're brand new. So we have to remember that when we're, when people, when once, once people actually um, complete that, that um, the YTB training, the next thing is to start getting them access on some, some of the sites. And we do that through registrations at YTB.com. Now, let me see, Katrina, are you on? Did you drop off? Yeah, you still on. Okay. I'm here. The reason why we do that, let me just say, the reason why, why we are, with YTB, we are referring travel agents, referring travel agents. And what that means is that we are not, now some of us have become, some, some people can became their own entity and became their own travel agents. But the whole point about being a referring travel agent is that you have a host agency. So you don't have to go out there and um, it's, it's a way to combine all the all the revenue and you get all the credit to be able to get access to some of these vendors for instance clear requires a minimum you know a, you either start new or you need to be under a host agency to get to join clear uh, so our clear membership is under a host agency now you can you can really begin you can start under a host agency and then branch out and have your own agency there's nothing wrong with that but being able to start under a host agency, now you're under a YTB umbrella. So that means you don't have to send in your W-9. You don't have to do a separate application. When YTB, when you send this to YTB, corporate office at YTB is sending something to Vax Vacation Access and says, hey, um, Ann Brown is one of our agents and here is our information and what, 
can you please send us her login information? Generally, your login information will be your, your, your email address that you provided, and they'll give you a temporary password. It might be password 1234. Now, when they come back from that, so just that's, I'm explaining this so you know what happens. When you send this to YTB, YTB corporate office contacts Vast Vacation Access. But let's say that you wanted to get access to Princess Cruise Lines. They do the same thing. They contact Princess Cruise Line and say, hey, Ann Brown is one of our agents. Can she get, we want to give her access to your site. And so they'll say, okay, this is the login information and YTB will send you their login information. If you wanted to get access to CLIA, or to, um, let's see, um, Carnival Cruise Lines. You use the same format. YTB would then call Carnival Cruise Lines and said, hey, Ann Brown is one of our agents. What would be her access? How can she access your website? They will send, her the send them the information and then they will send it to me. So that's the way this is supposed to go. You shouldn't have to register. Now, if you, go, if you want to get registered with Beds Online, Beds Online, if I'm not mistaken, um, and Michelle, help me with that. I, I think Beds Online, you don't have to go through YTB. You can just go to Beds Online and register as right. an agent. Um, and also, um, we used to have this, this fan, fan, um, fan um, what is it? Um, we, we used to have this service where it would give you access to um, fam trips. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think you, I think you have to put in YTB's information, but you don't have to go through YTB to register. However, um, and when you go into the back office, I, I don't think, and Globus, if you, Michelle, you don't have to do this through Globus either, do you? Um, I, I don't remember about Globus, but there, when you go into your YTB back office and you click on suppliers, it will show you which ones are self-registering and which ones you need to send the email to registrations at YTB. Oh, good. Thank you. I didn't know that. Okay. So you can go into your back office and, and see that. So I just wanted everybody to have this and I can email it to you or copy it or however, but this is the information that they need. So when your new people get started, make sure and they take that first class training, make sure they, they go on and you get them registered. But you also have to be committed to getting them online and stuff too. Now, what do I mean? Hey. Huh? Can I just say one thing? Uh -huh. um, I just wanted to say one thing. If um, for new people, if I'm not mistaken, when you, for brand new people, if they haven't changed it, I don't know if it's still the case, but they, they say that you have to um, wait 30 days after being, um, I guess, get that training or whatever. If you're a new person, you have to wait at least 30 days before they will give you the registrations for the vendors, if I'm not mistaken. So just want to make that clear to your new people that if they don't get it immediately, they have to wait 30 days if they're brand new after they get that training um, to uh, to get those accesses to those vendors. I don't know why, but yeah, 30 days, they have to wait. Girl, that's what they say. But they do give it to you, okay. No, I'm just saying, have your regional builder call in. Okay. <laughs> And you could probably bypass that. Okay. I'm just, that's, I think that's a hard rule. That, that's okay. Something. I think that's something that is said, but I don't know if that's a hard rule. Okay. I know All right. it's not a hard rule. Okay. Good to so know. Just so you know, just get, um, if someone is having an issue, um, do a three-way call in with them and just say okay this is what i need and 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 i don't i don't um it's it's not and and especially one thing you might want to say is uh well they have a pending booking ah uh, they huh. have to wait 30 days you know to get this in they've got a pending booking well uh guess what it will happen within an hour yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm yeah. just letting you know. Exactly. Right. That you, you, so you're touching on so the pocketbook. 
When there's a will, <laughs> there's a way. Yes, absolutely. So okay. That being said, when you when you when you get your information back, you're gonna go to www.vaxvacationaccess.com. And when you go to vaxvacationaccess.com, uh, okay, I was hoping it will. I don't want to log out. Okay, it has me logged in right now. But when you go to vaxvacationaccess.com, it's going to actually show you. Are you guys seeing my screen? Yes. Okay. All right. So it's going to actually bring up a website like this, Vax Vacation Access. Now, why do you want to have Vax Vacation Access? Well, if your customer wants to combine their trip and do one pay and, and do one payment, or if they need a payment plan, on on our surge site, they. Uh, on that, on um, on on the vortex, um, our customers have to do, and, and I understand that they're changing this, but for right now, they can't bundle a trip. They have to play. They have to pay for their flights, pay for their hotel, pay for their cars, everything separately. Well, if your client then says, "Well, that's inconvenient. I I want everything together. I just want you to give me a price." And, and that includes the round trip air. I, I want to pay for everything. And then I, I may want to have payment plans. Vax Vacation Access allows you to do that. So what you want to do, now you can actually take classes and everything. Um, there are different supplier classes, destination classes, th this education and stuff. There, there's a whole lot of stuff. And even I, I found some very interesting articles. And let me just show you this. If you, what I was doing too, is that let's say like on, if, it's, if Tuesdays is going to be Travel Tuesday, you can find some very interesting articles that you can post on your page. And so um, all you have to do is basically see how these are linked. You really just um, a message and at home activities to the people we love from Pueblo Bonito. So you can actually now, now you have this link here. You can actually copy this link and copy it and they and and put and post it on social media and they will get it or you could just go here share on facebook and it will bring up your facebook profile and you can post it on on facebook what does that sh what does that say to your friends and family on page on facebook oh she must be a real travel agent because now they they have you know she's actually posting documented travel stuff from a document company. It's not like you making this stuff up. So if you go to camp, campus, they have all kinds of resources, especially travel. There's an industry calendar. I never really clicked on the industry calendar, but that would be good too to kind of see what things are happening. Um, there's a webinar today, June 12th. So you can actually see uh, some of the things that are happening as well. So I'm just saying VAX is a very, very good resource. Now offers and incentives. I've never used this offered wizard, but I have looked at some of the promotions. For instance, if I have someone who wants to go to Jamaica, one of the first things I do is I go to the promotions tab and see if there's any suppliers that have anything going to Jamaica. So here we go, Mexico, the Caribbean, AM Resorts Collection, um, and that's with Southwest Vacations. So you can actually click on that and see what the special or the promotion is, and you can offer that to your client, savings up to 45% off, plus $200 in resort coupons. So when you actually now do a quote, that's good That's good stuff to include. Now, we also have the Mexico and the Caribbean, the Mexican Riviera, the Southwest Vacations as U.S. Now, this is what Vince was talking about on our call. 
U.S. cities, Mexico, and the Caribbean save up to $250 and earn up to 6,500 rapid reward points. That interest, that would interest me because I have a Southwest credit card. So those rapid re reward points are really going to, if you posted that, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, through Southwest, let me see what I can do. But this is what Vince is talking, this gives you, this gives you um, the, the different codes. $250 off international vacations. Now, I would not post this promo code. I would make them come to you for the promo code. But you can say $125 off U.S. vacations, $250 off Hawaiian vacations. Um, check, you know, get in touch with me to get the details through Southwest. So that way people are coming to you. You see what I'm saying? Does that make sense? So you want to yeah. definitely, you want to use that information, but don't post these promo codes. If, if they don't, you know, let them know that it will, you, they have to book through you to get the promo code. Well, they don't really, any, any agent can get the promo code, but if you posting it, don't just put the information out there because they can take that promo code and go to Southwest or any other agency. So you want to capture your audience. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so this is exactly what Vince was talking about on our call, $250 off international vacations. Um, you know, and so if you have someone that's going, that wants to go somewhere, this is the time to incentivize them, and that's why Southwest is doing it. Give them an incentive to go on and book. So let's go to reservations. Now, when you go to reservations, you can, when you go to reservations, you can actually go here. I, I, I sometimes, I definitely, I, I like the Ryu. I, I get a lot of, of, a lot of bookings at the Ryu. Um, but um, I, I've also heard about Charisma Hotels. So as you start, as you start reading things and getting information and stuff, you, you're going to begin to know what various brands that you like, which brands really do well and which don't do well. But look at this, y'all. Through Vast Vacation Access, you can book through American Airlines Vacations, Apple Leisure Group, Apple Vacations, Blue Sky, Bush Gardens Vacations, Discovery Co., Extra Holidays Vacation, Fun Jet, SeaWorld, Sesame Place, Southwest, TNT, Travel, um, Travel Impressions, United Vacation, Universal Parks and Resorts. That means that these, these are vendors that you can put together a package. You can do a group package or a family package. And so Vast Vacation Access allows you to do that and allows you to, to, to absolutely um, get that, you know, do it, do it in, a, in a very, very um, uh, kind of easy way instead of you pulling all this stuff together. So for instance, let's say that we go to Southwest Vacations, which is one of my premier providers. I love Southwest. And so let's say that my, my client wants flight and hotel. They're departing from Washington, D.C. So you know that, that that code is. The great thing about that is that you don't have to know the code. You can basically just search and, and figure out where they're coming from. On some sites, you got to know the, um, the airport code. But let's say that they're going to, let's say that they're going to Mexico. <clears throat> You know what, let's say the Dominican Republic because that's at the top, D. Nope, I guess DR is not open yet. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's do Cozumel, it's right here. Okay. Huh? Okay, but Jamaica starts with a J and I'm up in the C's. So let's do Cozumel. <laughs> so we want, let's say you are one room, two adults, no children. And let's say, let's push it out. Let's say that they want to go in August. So let's say they're going in August for, a, for um, six nights and seven days. So it automatically puts the re return thing. Mm -hmm. And so right now you don't have to do, you don't have to do the promo code. But let me just tell you, you want to click on add travel protection because your tra when you click on add travel protection, that's going to give you the option to offer a payment plan to your, to your clients. So let's see if they have anything going.
Okay, uh, so Cozumel is not open yet. So Nick Brown, I may just go on down to, or maybe we can't go to Cozumel. That doesn't mean it's not open. Maybe we, maybe they don't have a flight going to Cozumel from DC. So you know what? So let's change. Bahamas, it. Bahamas are open. Bahamas open. Thank you so much. Top of the alphabet. Thank you. So let's go to. Yeah. I probably have to, where do we fly into in the Bahamas? Never mind, because you have to go down to Nassau, also. Okay, that's cool. Let's try, let's try Cancun. Did I just try Cancun? Let's try Cancun. I'm pretty sure Cancun is open. Okay, so let's search. Should be something going to Cancun from DC. If not, we'll try BWI. No, let's try BWI. And this is something I like too that you can, if somebody lives in an area with multiple, with multiple um, airports, you can kind of find airports, an airport that's that will supply, um, that might have a flight. And this is this is kind of um, kind of unique, especially because we're going through this COVID nineteen stuff. So usually there's there's flights and stuff, and I may need to push it out from August to okay. Here we go. So from BWI Southwest has a flight going going to um, Cancun in August. So the great thing about it is now you you see the flight. And there's well a, 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 um, a direct flight, and then here they they've got one stop. Now you can actually look for the return flights and try to change that flight if you want to. Um, so there's all kinds of things that you could do. But look at this. See right here, it says, "Hey, this is going to qualify for this promotion code." So remember when I said before, you don't necessarily have to have the promotion code at this point. Um, if you're going through Southwest, it's going to tell you what promotion codes are applicable. Now here, for the hotels and stuff, um, you let's say that you, you you want to that you want to see various hotels. Maybe you, okay, you see now Emerald Cancun, Live Aqua, um, Dream Sands Cancun, Grand Oasis Cancun, Dream. So you can scroll through and find the, find the, find the hotel that you want to, that you want to visit. And so, um, and you can also sort by amenities. For instance, if it's if you if you you know that they're taking it well, if they're going just by themselves, that that may not be they may not care. But let's say they want all inclusive, and then they want all inclusive by the beach. So now it the, it there is it's definitely what it goes in um in sorts for you. And so now you know all the hotels that you're looking at are all inclusive and they're by the beach. So let's say that you said, okay, they said, well, hey, I got a, I would like to go to the Ryu Palace. And the Ryu Palace is, is one of, is the palace um, levels of the Ryu's are, are very, are nice. Um, so you can actually see, look at this. So this is information for you that only five seats available, but they get 4,800 reward, rapid reward points per member. So you could actually that could this only five seats available can you could use that to get them to go on and book you could say hey there's only five seats left do you want me to hold this for you um so <clears throat> this too are paid monthly for 177 dollars um that probably wouldn't work on this that wouldn't work on this y'all know what this is Are you talking about that monthly payment? Yeah, I didn't realize they had this. It looks like now um, they're financing vacations right. at 15%.
Yeah, it says you can put down and then make the monthly payment. No, that's different. Okay, they're, they're, it looks like they're two different things, and I didn't realize this. Mm -hmm. With Vast Vacation Access, you can choose this. You can you can choose, or this might be. This is probably this. This must be um, Southwest. Southwest is financing vacations. Um, so with Vast Vacation Access, what you can do is you can choose that you want this, this flight that's selected and that hotel. And um, this is the Ryu Palace and everything. So now, now you've gotten your, the total amount. This includes 1,500 rapid reward points. This includes your travel vacation, transportation to and from the airport, and identify. And, and it's telling you that ID is required for travel. Now, at this point, if they needed a rental car, you could add a rental car. And here with features, if they wanted to add a tour or something, you could see what other features were available. And so you could talk to your client and say, okay, they also have a tour of Duns River, where, where was this, Cancun? Um, they also have a, um, a, a private deluxe transportation, the Jolly Roger Pirate Dinner Show, um, Amster Excursion Voucher, um, ta ta Tulum, Tulum Ruins, um, if they wanted to see the ruins, um, Chichen Itza, if they, if they, I, I love Chichen Itza, um, if they want to go start snorkeling. So the great thing is you can include this if they decide, you, if you just say, hey, do you think you might want to do any of these things, especially if it's a birthday or a special thing, go ahead and include it. And, and that way they can, they can actually pay for the whole thing and have, have that taken care of. Some people will say that they want to, they want to wait until they get there and decide, but some people kind of already know what they want to do. And if you offer it to them, they, they would rather have it already included in the package. Now, other things that you can get, you can say, oh, you're going to get the honeymoon credit and all of that stuff. Well, once you, once you've decided what you want, on the right hand side, it's going to actually tell you um, what is, I wanted you to see. Are you looking to add more um, commission? No, I think I made the, um, I think I'm going to extend the date because 57 days, I wanted to see the payment plan. Click on email, print itinerary. But it's not, okay. And then scroll down. No, on, on the update. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, here we go. Okay, thank you, Michelle. So I didn't think they was going to do this. I thought it was too soon out. But anyway, um, it's, because you got insurance, it's saying that it's now allowing you to do a pay, allowing you to offer a payment plan to your customer. So they can do a deposit due of June 13th of $1,200 or $1,300. That's basically about $650 per person. And then the balance due, now you, the, you know that the balance of $2,000 is due on June 25th. I would never tell my customer that is due on June 25th. Generally, you might want to say June 20th, or maybe even if it's June 25th, that's why I'm saying the, the about this doesn't make sense. But let's say that I, we actually um, booked, we actually um, estimated this trip in December. If, if we estimate this trip in December, the balance would be due now. And then let's say the full, the full payment might be due in October. So I should have, I should have thought about that or I'm, I might go back and do it. So and that's what I wanted you to see that um, what VAX does is, is a little different because they allow you to do a payment plan and I'm pretty sure they stay, um, they they it is a high, it is higher a higher amount but what what because we went with southwest they're also allowing a payment plan and um 
they're also allowing a payment plan and it is um and and they're saying that their rate is 15 percent and the far the farther out you go if you have more advanced um delayed um date to travel your deposit will be lower as well mm -hmm. okay so you we still get the 250 dollar um credit here <clears throat> so let's say that we wanted to go to the Rio again. So we slept. Oh my goodness, I must have selected a whole month. Oh, I got from August to November. It's only $16,000. <laughs> all right, all right. That's, that's a heck of a vacation. I know that's right. I know that's right. All right, here we go. November 8th through November 14th. I don't know, they said, shoot, somebody gonna be here for a couple of months at the Rio? <clears throat> All So I kind of wanted to walk everybody through so you can see what's available to you, what you can offer and things you can offer your clients. So <clears throat> let's go back to the, uh, no, I want the Rio Palace. So we looked at an all-inclusive beach. <clears throat> so now, um, Let's go here back to the Rio Palace, $1,600. I mean, six that, yeah, $1,600. <clears throat> so here we go. So you still qualify for the $250 off adult base price. And so you can choose your flight, but here we go. When you do the email print itiner itinerary, this just lets you send stuff to your clients, but I would not send it like this. Now you can get an idea of um, what, what I'm talking about. The balance due for this trip is $1,800. $837, which is $400 per person, is due June 13th. And the full payment is due in September. So what can you do with that? You can say, okay, you can send this to them. I would not say that the full payment is due September 24th. I would generally say maybe full payment is due September 15th. Um, and that gives, because nine times out of 10, people not gonna remember their pay date and that kind of stuff. And you might even say September 7th or, or whatever it is, September 10th, whatever you want. <clears throat> However, all what you can do is say, okay, $400, $400 is due now, so that's June. You can actually, when you send the invoice, you can say, just, just split up what, that that's basically if they pay eight hundred and thirty seven dollars now then they basically have about a thousand dollars left to pay on this on this trip and so if you split that up into three hundred dollars in the next three months a hundred and fifty dollars a piece they will have their their let's see july august let's see june july august and then it's due in september so you might want to either split it into three payments because um, then that would that would that would that would make them. If you sort of said, okay, um, your next payment for three hundred dollars is due, which is one hundred and fifty dollars per person, is due Ju Ju July tenth. The next one is August tenth, and then your final payment is September tenth. And so that helps them go on and make the payment, and that helps you go on and have the payments in as well once you once you book this trip. So <clears throat> I would not, and when you, and you can copy and paste this information and you can change it. So if you wanted to just give them their flight information and everything, I would suggest doing that, but don't, they don't have to know that it's through Southwest Vacations because what a lot of people do, if you tell them where you got the quote from, they just go to Southwest Vacations and call and cut out the middleman and get their own vacation. So I would I would send them the information, tell them it, that it's with Southwest Airlines, 
um, <clears throat> but I would not send the um, the actual logo and what vendor you use. And they'll find that out soon enough. So on your information, on your when you send your quote, you may want to, if you don't have a logo, you, this is a good time to get a logo. Um, because if you want to do a quote, you can actually click on Word and, um, and send them a quote with your logo on it. You just open a, or open a Word document. <clears throat> Now, I know some people do their quotes via email. Um, I usually do mine through a Word document just so I can keep up with it. <clears throat> and so, and what I do is I just, I just add a, um, I add my logo. I have my logo to the top of the page, and then I copy and paste the information. And um, which is why you want to you want to have your logo, whatever it is, branded. And it doesn't, you know, if you start off with one and, and you decide, hey. Um, this isn't what I want to, it's, it's okay. You can, you can always change it, but just have, have a logo that you use that that's your brand. And so when they, um, <clears throat> when they actually see it, they, um, let me go. Here's one. So then I just take my logo. I put my logo there and then I go back to Vax and I basically just copy, start right here and I copy all this information. So now you can see, you can do a quote in, in little or no time. I go back to my document I paste the information there. Uh, no, not like that. Uh, merge formatting. So I paste the information. And guess what? All the information is there. What I do then is that <clears throat> I take this. And I, I might, you know, I may, I may um, dress it up a little bit. I may, you know, total amount of payments. Um, I take this out if it's zero. Well, the, because that's just saying the, the number of payments that they've made so far. So I put balance due. And then here I change the date. Deposit due. Uh, if I'm going to leave that on the 13th then I might leave it or if it's tomorrow or whatever, because nine times out of 10, the deposit's not going to change from today or tomorrow. Full payment due, I may leave, put that on the 10th if I'm going to if I'm gonna um, do it with the 10th. But what I'll do is then I'll add, I'll add, uh, um, I might say first payment. July 10th, and then I add $300 passment. Sorry about that. So, um, and then I add those lines, and then full pay payment due. I, I, I take the 837 from this total, and then divide it, the, the, divide the total for the next three payments, so that it still comes up with the with the final payment, and it and it still old, owes this 200. Uh, this um, still equals this balance due. But what I also may do is here, I might put eight, where it says 837, I may say, okay, put a thing, $400, 415 per person. 
you know, just so that they know that it's not 8.30, 8.37 for everybody. It's like um, for 16, what's that, y'all, divided by two? Y'all better at math than I am per person. So... Um, so those are the things that you can do. So once you have, once you've, once you've actually, um, once you've actually, um, once you've actually done that, you can, you can just copy it. Now let me show you another feature as well. When you're in VAS, let's say that, okay, you've already done that. Um, and let's say that now you're like, oh, okay, um, I want to see what my, what my commission will be on this trip. Are y'all seeing my, my screen? Yes. Y'all yep. We back on VAX? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's say that you want to say, okay, let me see what my commission is on, on this trip. So when you do email print invoice, And you actually do preview. Hold on a minute. Sorry about that. You can actually just click on booking administration. Thank you. Here we go, y'all. So like Michelle said, click on booking administration. <laughs> All right. And there you go. You actually see, can, can y'all see my screen? Oh, it for some reason it went back. It must have gone back to your original dates. Okay. You had that all August through November. Okay. Okay. So either way, it, let's say that when you go to booking administration for the sake of time, because we're already over time, for the sake of time, when you click on booking administration, you see where it says the original amount and then your commission, you can see your commission on this $18,000 is $3,000. So yeah, so this is what Michelle is saying. It must've gone back to my original date, what I had in there. But let's say that you wanted it, if this was $1,000, $500, it doesn't matter. It will show you what your commission is. Let's say you said, well, that's not enough for me. I want to increase my commission. So you can, just, you can actually increase your commission to... <coughs> bless you. Thank you. So you can add, God bless you, babe. You can add an additional $2,000 onto your commission here. So you can either increase, increase it by money or you can increase it by percentage. Oh, well, wait a minute. So either way, you can increase, you can increase your, your commission and now it changes that total amount. So before you give someone your estimate, you wanna check your commission. And, th and let me just, let me just expl let, let me explain this. And now, now this gets this gets this gets pretty tricky. You can increase your commission. Let you know how I said this is a good way to use those codes. If it, it, so, you know that with that code they get two hundred and fifty dollars off. It's coming off. That, that's going to be on the invoice. You increase your commission. You can if you want to you increase your commission by $250. So they still paying the $250, but they get $250 off and they, they still get that, they still see that they're getting a $250 discount. So what have you done? Now that, 200, that $250 is now coming to you in terms of a commission. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's a way that you can kind of add some more to your commission, depending on who it is and what you want to do. You know, you might say, oh, well, I'm not going to charge them 250. I'm just going to increase it by $100. Or, you know, that client that's running you to death and you got to do three or four quotes and all your time and all that energy and that kind of stuff. This is a, this is a way that you can actually 
um, get compensated for your time. Okay. That's one reason why agents love VAX vacation access. And especially during a time when they have that, have this $250 off, because you know that's gonna put that's gonna post on the um, invoice no matter what. So there's there so you're showing them that they're getting $250 off. Does that make Anne, sense? Mm -hmm. I have a question, Ann. Okay. So um but we so this we still have to keep in mind, right, that um that those commissions are still falling through Y2 YTB before they come back to you too, right? Absolutely. So yeah. So even though you you up it to 250, you're still gonna get like whatever that percentage is at 60% or whatever the commission is that YTP gets, it's still gonna be a percentage of that. But it, in any regards, it's still more. Than what it would have been so exactly you know you might want to up that as much as possible so that when it follows through you'll still get the maximum you know but not exactly. too much because <laughs> yeah. the middleman is still there the, right the middleman is there our corporate office <laughs> is gonna if you if you're with that corporate office and you're at the 60 percent per commission level then yeah um just know that if your commission is 250 dollars then you get 60% of that. So our, our, our corporate office will actually um, send you, uh-oh. The percentage of whatever it is that they get. $150. Yeah. So that $250, you get $150 and the corporate office would get 100 Let me make sure I did that right. Yep, a hundred dollars, two hundred fifty times of a forty percent of two fifty is a hundred. Is that right? I don't think that's right. Sixty-two fifty. Okay, so two hundred fifty divided by. Are Are you dividing the entire amount of the commission? Yeah, I'm trying to see 250 times 60 percent times 0. 0.6 is 150. Okay, but are you adding that to the total amount of the commission, or you just did the additional 250? I just did the additional 250 because <clears throat> that's I mean, so you just know that if you if you increase it by 250. That now, let me just tell you too, in, in all honesty, if you begin to do bookings, which is what a lot of people do, if, you, if there's a time when, and, and, and YTB will tell you this, um, after a certain amount of bookings, you get 100% of your commission. And so you have to re read that. So um, you want to, you want to do, if you're going to be booking a lot of, a lot of trips, then you want to definitely um, you want to, your plan should be to take the courses and increase your commission rate from 60 to 70% to 80% or whatever, but increase your commission rate and then call. And then number one, you want to, you want to definitely, um, be on, be on track to get your IATA card, which means that in one calendar year, you actually earn over $5,000 in commissions. And so you want, when, when that happens within a calendar year, you want to apply for your IATA card. And you also want to, because that's going to give you different perks and benefits and show you at, show, you know, now you're recognized as a travel agent in the industry. Now, <clears throat> there, there might be a time when you want to become your own agent. And so there's a way for you to become your own agent. However, I do not suggest that um, right out the gate um, because um, like, like Katrina just went through, um, you know, she, for some reason, Vax Vacation thought that she was her own agent. So they started asking her for her W-9. They started asking her for her, her business forms and that kind of thing. So if, with me, it's easier for me to be a referring travel agent and let YTB handle that. Now, when you get to the point where you want to be your own agent, 
um, then you can definitely do that. But by that time, you'll know exactly what you're doing and what you need. So YTB is an opportunity for those people who want to get in the travel game, to get in the travel game, have a host agency to handle a lot of those details for you for a fee, an administrative fee. And so that your, your monthly fee plus a portion of your a portion of your commissions that you make. Now they don't get a hundred percent. They they're like, hey, if you get a hundred dollars, can you please send us forty and you keep sixty? And so that's basically the split starting out. And then as you take more classes, you can increase your 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 percentage amount. I, and and just so you know, some vendors don't. Some vendors will. Except once you what even though you're a referring travel agent, some vendors will ask you, do you want us to send the payment to like the Ryu? I like the Ryu because the Ryu will ask, do you want us to send the payment to you or do you want us to send the payment to your host agency? Um, so at that point you can control if you want to, if you want them to send the payment to you, then you get the check. If you ask them to send it to your host agency, then they will send it to your host agency and YTB will take 40%. So it's totally, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to be in all, in all honest, it, it be honest. Um, some, some, some vendors do not require you to be a part of a host agency. Um, some do. So you, once you start getting in this travel game, you will begin um, getting, you will begin knowing what you can do, how you can do it. Today we're talking about Vax Vacation Access because this travel thing is about to explode and you need to know how to go on Vax Vacation Access and spit out a quote in about 15, 20, 30 minutes. And I showed you how to do that. Just copy it on Word, send it back, you know, get the dates and just say, this is what I found, how you like it, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, you don't have to spend a whole lot of time. Just make sure you got your vast vacation access and you've got the information that you need. And like I said, the other things is don't tell them what, with this, with VAX, you have, you have an option of doing several different vendors. When you go on reservation, you can actually, there's several different vendors that you can choose from. I generally use Southwest and FunJet. However, if, if someone is more, if, if someone is more, um, is more, more comfortable with Apple Vacations, you can actually book, you can actually use Apple Vacations. You can actually, if they're going to SeaWorld, you can actually use SeaWorld Vacations. Now, not all of these vendors will carry are linked to airlines. So that's the thing too. However, you can still do a package. If someone wants to go to Universal in Orlando or even Bush Gardens, you can actually put a put a um, put a vacation or a, especially a family outing together with that, and they can actually have a payment plan. So it is so important that you know um, what what you need to do, and also if they need a payment plan, always add add travel perfect protection because banks will not offer a payment plan without insurance. I want to ask one question that may sound simple, uh, but how do you go about uh, idea or net or uh, symbol or you can find those things somewhere? What you say? How did you come up with, how do you, I said, this may be a simple question for most of you, but how do you come up, brand yourself with the uh, logo that you had? Did you come up with that idea and that symbol? No, I'm not that creative. Um, <laughs> I think I, I, I explained to you before. Remember, just go to www.fiverr.com. Oh, oh, okay. When you go to fiverr.com mm -hmm. and you actually, um, you can actually, it's, it's free. But you can sign in. Um, okay. Okay, I got it. And when you sign in, you see right here at the top. I don't know if you can see it. Do, do yeah, you, I can see it. Y'all see my go to graphic design. Okay. Okay. And then go to logo, logo design right here. That's what you need a logo. So then once oh, you okay. go to logo design. 
Uh -huh. Find something that you like. Just okay. see, you know, go and see what you like and see what you, what's oh, the okay. name of your company? Okay, great, okay. What's the name of your company, Miss Iantha? So, uh, great Way to Travel. So look at this one, this Poppy Connection. That's kind of cute. Okay, yeah. If you wanted to do something like that. Um, so the different logos, or if you like something like that. Okay. The okay. different logos are just kind of look and see. Right, okay, okay. You know, okay. What, what you like. Okay. And a graphic artist can do something for you. Or if you just like their work, then reach out to them and say, hey, um, and they let you know, like, this person will do a text logo. If you don't want a picture, you just want text. They're okay. saying they'll do a logo for ten dollars. Oh, okay, okay. Um, my first logo I got on on um on here on Fiverr that blue and and gold logo I got on Fiverr. This is cool too. Um, so yeah, but you know they have various prices based on on what you want. Okay, thank you. But you can yeah you can definitely get a logo pretty inexpensively. Um, if you're not, if you're not someone who is, you know, who is, who is, um, I'm, I'm not the best graphic, I'm, I'm not the best graphic person. And I like being able to say, um, oh, I, you know, just go and, and, and shoot me over yeah, something. Not. Yeah. Okay. And, and let me see what I like, as opposed to like my logo now that Believe and Succeed logo, um, I, I, I met a graphic artist at an event and, and I asked her, I said, well, this is my, this is what I can do, you know, see what you, you know, and then she said, well, what's your personality? And she was like, give me some words. What, what do you want it to exude? What do you want um, it to do? And she, she actually, she actually came up with that. However, I remember, I, I think I told you at one of the trainings too, I, I told you about um, Canva. And it's a free C A N V A. However, right. you, you got to be, you got to kind of know what you're looking for. Right. Um, uh, and you can, you know, I haven't done brand kit, but here you go, brand logos. So you can kind of play around and and see what is what is um what's available. Let me see, marketing print, buy a shirt, t-shirt. So if you want to go and not spend any money, and when you go to Canva, which is free, you can click right. on right here that says logo. Right. Mm -hmm. And just start looking at different logos and see which one you like. See, they oh, have right. all of these. Logos. So to start out, if you want to start out with a free logo, then go to Canva and just make you right here. With this one, this is free. All you got to do is go in here. If you like this print, just say travel. Now. Oh, okay. And then put Iantha Green. Okay. There you go. You got a logo. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's all about what you want. You don't have to spend no money. Now it's easy. It just takes some time. Going like this is this is a nice logo going in. See right. that travel yeah. now by Iantha Green. I don't know if you want that um that leaf on there. Right. Okay, okay. Look at that. Yeah, okay. You know, so you can try different ones. I'm trying to see if there's one for travel. There's attorney, home furnishings, automotive. So it takes some time, but look at this one. This is nice. But that one, when it comes out like that, that means you got to pay for it. It's not free. But you see what I'm saying? It does. Right, right, right. You, it, it is. You just gotta take take some time. If you want to do it for free, you gotta. Oh, let's see what this one look like. If you want to do it for free, travel now with Iantha. Go ahead, you may do a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so there are different logos. You can try what you want and do different things. This is nice. So, um, yeah, the whole point is, that's why I, I, I've told y'all, write it down again, right. Canva is a, look at this, Miss Iantha, that's nice. 
Yeah, um, it, Canva is a wealth of information and a wealth of resources, things that you can do for free. Yeah, I saw those things, but I didn't know what to do with them. I, I thought, well, I don't particularly like that, you know, but I see what you have done. <laughs> and you know? just keep scrolling till you find okay. something that you like. Yeah, but I see what you're doing, which makes it look really neat, opposed to what I'm just looking at when I look at those, uh, you know, those satin, um, symbols over there. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I didn't know that if I changed the wording, that right. it would, I could, I didn't know I could do this, really. So this, I think this is new. I thought right. I had to change it, but um, it's taking the wording that I typed in and applying it to the various logos, right. which right. makes, which really saves a whole lot of time. I'm glad I, I I'm glad I can do this. I didn't, right. I didn't realize this. So I'm learning too. This is a new feature. I don't think this was like this before. So everybody, definitely go to Canvas, Canva, C-A-N-V-A. And like I said, it was it was it was introduced by Surge 365 um, at at um, at convention. One of the conventions, yeah. Yeah. I don't know where I was. So everybody can 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 do this. This is nice. Okay. I like that. But anyway, does that help? Is that yeah. help? Oh, that's great. Yes, done wonders. Yeah. Yeah. So I I would think starting out, do something free. Right. Just do something free. And this is very similar to what I have. Yeah, and you yeah. can change that to travel now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, or whatever okay. your, your name. Uh -huh. Right. Does that make sense? Oh, that's, this is wonderful. Wonderful. Yes. Okay, awesome. Okay, so today, okay, what did you guys, what did you guys pick? It's, it's, it's after 10. I'm getting out of Canva. What did you guys, guys pick up on? Um, Y'all still there? Did I, yes. did I cut you off? Okay. Well, I was looking as you thought, went through the uh, back information because I, and my husband was still here at the moment, so I kept turning around asking him, do you do that? Do you do that? Do you use that? You know, and a lot of the, uh, basically what you were saying in those areas, he was already familiar with, but it was good for me to see it for myself, you know, and uh, start really practicing on trying to do it myself rather than relying on him. And then yeah, to go a, back to this logo, I think this is awesome because I tried to make up, or uh, I do make up my a sheet, but I never had a logo on it. So I think this is very important now for me when I fix out my own information with my of uh, sending out something i can put my logo on it and i i like i'm really thankful for that oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah and before you pay somebody at least try that's my thing before i pay somebody i'm gonna at least try to do it you know and if i can't do it then i at least go and say okay this is what i tried to do or this is what i was going but and it gives me a perfect example right we've been trying to get somebody to look at our hot tub because our hot tub is leaking. Right. And so the guy came over last night, he said, oh, I can look at it. And I just got a sense that he didn't really know. I was thinking, he, he don't really know. He not a plumber, he don't really know. So <laughs> I, I looked at him and I said, um, and he said, can you put some water in? And I said, yeah. I said, we can put some water in there. And I said, I can tell you exactly when it starts leaking. And so he had taken the, the, the things off of the, of the hot tub and I had already told Nick, I said, Nick, I, you know, I believe I can, I, I can go on YouTube and fix this hot tub. Yeah. And, um, and Nick was like, you sure? I said, yeah, I think I can, if I took my time, I think I could fix this hot tub. So I said, um, so I started feeling it and I said, okay, it's going to start leaking right here at this point. And I said, um, and I said, and at this point, I said, it's just the jets. And I said, I think the jets, I just need to reseal, we need to reseal the jets. And I said, the reason I say that is because we haven't turned the hot tub on. So it's not circulating through the motor, through the pipes and stuff. I'm just feeling it and it's just leaking from the tub, which lets me know that the sealant is loose in the tub. And he said, he said, hmm. 
And he said, he, I'll tell you, he looked at it, and no offense, ladies, you know, this a man for you. <laughs> you know what? I think it's the Jets, because we haven't turned the motor on, and it's not leaking. And I think we can just reseal the Jets. I said, really, is that your, is that, is that your expert opinion? He said, I'm going to go home and do some research. I said, we're going to research. YouTube, Google. He was like, yeah. I said, yeah, the same research I did. He, he, he had to say it himself to make it right. legit. Girl, he was under there. He was looking at the leak and stuff. He said, oh, yeah, it's leaking. It's leaking. Because I told him, I said, it's going to start leaking in a minute. He said, and it's not leaking. And I said, well, just give it a minute. It's going to leak. And um and then it started. He said, "Oh yeah, yeah, it's leaking. Oh yes." Yeah, I said, "Yeah, it's, it's leaking." And I said, I, "And I said, if you notice, we haven't turned the hot tub on." And I said, "That's what makes me think that these leaks are coming from the jets. The jets are just loose, and we just need to put some more silicone in there." And um, he was like, "He said, yeah, I'm looking at it now." He said, and it's not on. I said, no, it's not. You would hear the motor if it was running. It's, it's <laughs> not on. It's not on. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all all know Ann Brown is from South Carolina, right? <laughs> so she, so, so she worked on tractors. I mean, she able to do all this. I'm, you can't I'm, tell me. I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying to help her because there's no way I can go up under there to do it. So, babe, if you want to, I'll pay you to fix the hot tub. Hey, 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 <laughs> let me get one of them points. I'm, I'm, let me find out what parts I need. I'm about to get in that hot tub. It's already empty. We got to clean it anyway. I'm about to go. I was going to pay somebody. You go ahead. You, okay. When you when you, when you going to start the contract? When you going to have it done for me? Y'all, this is documented. This is all y'all are witnesses. This is documented. You got it on record. There you go. <laughs> You said that you your pay, pay me. your pay gonna be when we both get in there and enjoy it. <laughs> that sounds like free labor. You need, to call the boy. you need to call your boy back to get out there. Then, uh -uh. oh man, <laughs> Carolina, I'm I'm with the tractor too now, uh, Nick. So I, I I go I push her up. All you right. know them old tractors. You take a part, take it off, find another part. Find the screw, put it back in. Shoot, I'm well, here to tell you. In the defense, this this guy does a lot of everything, but I got I got a real plumber that's supposed to be coming over today. So <laughs> yeah, that's what he like, does professionally. How to do it? <laughs> so I was saying, he said, you know, and um, I don't, I don't. Uh, he said, I, you know, I don't, I, 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 I haven't, I've never done this. Okay. <laughs> Hey, but we, one thing we do know, the guy makes tremendous decks. He he built a beautiful deck for us that that hot tub sits in. <laughs> Y'all, he said he was walking around the hot tub, and um, some of the wood is, is, is well, we've had the deck for 15 years. And uh, he stumped his toe on some of the wood. And I said, yeah. I said, um, I said be careful. I said, because some, some of that wood... And we need to replace the boards because, you know, it's weathered and it's getting soft now. He stepped down on one. He was like, oh. And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. So he was like, yeah. We, and he said, I need to do that over at my own. I said, yeah. I said, I guess these boards need to be replaced after a while. But anyway, so here we go. We're going to try to get this thing done. But I'm trying to tell you. My whole point is try to do it yourself. Just try, sit there and try to do it yourself. If you can't figure it out, then you can't figure it out. But at least try. Try to do it yourself. Does that make sense? Yeah, that make a lot of sense. I'm so, next week, so, next, so next week, y'all, I'm going to have pictures for y'all and up under the hot tub doing... doing oh, you know. get this. I found a YouTube video where I don't have to get under the hot tub. I can sit in the hot tub and make the repairs. Long oh, my goodness. It's not up. Well, right, well, the water drain, I'll be taking pictures with her sitting water. in the hot tub. I just need, if those things are so tight, I need something to help me unloosen there's a, them. There's a, there's a tool that we need for that. Yeah, to help me All loosen right. them. Um, and I don't know, I don't know, but he knew what it was. So he was like, yeah, I think I got one of those. I was like, mm, let me figure out what that tool is. I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to, if you got one, I know I can get one. <laughs> 
but they showed you on on YouTube. They were, and it's simple, but you just got to, and, and they even told you what, you know, silicone and stuff to get to just, you know, it's just like caulking. And, right. you know, eventually around your tub and shower, you got to caulk around there. So the same thing that happened with a hot tub. Right. Y'all, I, I married a pretty boy. <laughs> no lie. He I'll pay, I, I'll I'll pay a brother call. in a minute. That's he right. <laughs> He's like, look, I'll make a call and write a check. <laughs> hey, but I got a resource base. I can get stuff done pretty quick. I can make a phone call and it's done. All right. Good to know. Yeah, now how about that, Amber? <laughs> I used to work on my car, but I guess once I arrived, I wasn't getting my fingernails dirty no more. What year was that? <laughs> what year was that, Nick? Way, way, way before I married you. I used oh, to change yeah. my that own oil, school, I <laughs> change alternators, all that stuff. Yeah, Boy, that was in high school. You. That was before yeah, you, that, was, that, that was before you had to plug everything up and do all these diagnostics on your car. I said when I had arrived, then I then I thought I was, you know, I could hire somebody else to do that. I ain't gotta get up on you. know, I, my first three or four years working at the agency, thank you. He started as an intern. <laughs> it wasn't doing <laughs> Yeah, I'll make my stand every day. I know, right? <laughs> All right, I'm going to be quiet because I'm going to win this battle. <laughs> At any rate, we're going to shut this down. This is the Brown. The brown this is what's happening in the Brown Estate. So I'm going to try to go and see if I can find the stuff to fix this hot tub. And uh, and here we here we go. Stay, stay, tuned, water to stay, stay tuned to the saga, the hot tub saga at the Brown Estate. <laughs> but the yeah. plumber is coming over today. Huh? You, you want me to cancel the plumber, or, or you got it? No, I no. We're gonna cancel, but he, I hope he confirms the same thing. If he confirms that it's the Jets, then we're not gonna hire him to do the Jets. If he says that there's something in the line then, you know, I'm not a plumber. I can't do, get under there and do. All right, all right. So, but if he says, yeah, I think this is the Jets. Oh, uh, shoot, I can take my time and go out there and fix, them, fix those Jets. So, y'all, this, that's, a, that's our training for today. Hopefully you got some information that you can use. Make sure you share it with your teammates. Make sure that they know vast vacation access is so important that you have that. And we didn't even go through all of the features, everything. Log mm -hmm. in, spend some time. Go on the, you know, take some training, look at it, pretend that you doing a booking. Um, and, and, you know, look at the various vendors because you'll see the various vendors don't offer everything. So you, you want to be familiar with what the vendors offer and that kind of stuff and the payment plans and, and all of that. So um, vast vacation access. And if you want a logo to put on your invoices, just go to Canva and create one. And guess what? If you don't like it next week, go back and create another one. It's free. And go keep creating one till you like it and right. before you pay somebody to do it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay anybody to do a logo. Not at this point. Not at this point. When you're really trying to brand yourself, then you can and you want to start, you know, branching out and doing more. But at this point, just, just get a logo, something that you like, and it, it will work just fine. And put it on your invoices, put it on your, put, you know, get some, get some little um, notepads, put it on there to give away. You can put it on your ink pens. You can put it on whatever, however you want to brand yourself. You can put it on your shirt. Right here. You can put it on your shirts, t-shirts and stuff. So, you know, once you, once you come up with your logo, you can, you can do different things for your team. You can use it pretty and then just start putting it in your, in your um, signature right. at the bottom of your emails. Right. Okay. So just come, come up with it. Take your time and, and, and come up with it. Does that make sense? That makes sense. All right, y'all, and it's free. It just takes your time. So to do free. get everything free. 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 Okay, y'all. Okay. So that's Good. it. Have, huh? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you very much. Have a good awesome. Time.
All right. I have a good right, look. And too. hey, God bless. And I look forward to seeing y'all at the top. It's going to be a clear top. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Cutie, cutie on duty. <laughs> Keep grandma straight. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all later. <laughs>